Well, it has been a good weekend for firefighters trying to get the upper hand on the Caldor fire near South Lake Tahoe. After weeks of losing ground, things are finally turning around. This evening, some people are being allowed back into their homes in parts of the Tahoe Basin. Not everyone has a home to return to, though. NBC Bears' Alyssa Gord joins us from Myers, where the wildfire leveled entire neighborhoods. Alyssa, it is so difficult to see that for a homeowner to come home. Jessica, according to maps from Cal Fire, there are dozens of cabins all along this road that have been completely destroyed by the Caldor Fire. Take a look. The stark reality is apparent here. You can see that all that remains of many of these homes are the stone chimneys. From the air and on the ground, firefighters are curbing the Caldor Fire's growth, which means most evacuation orders are lifted. You want to come to your own bed, you want to be home. And South Lake Tahoe residents are starting to come back. Tahoe's strong and it's home, so this is what we're all about. Most employees at this Rayleigh's grocery store were evacuated for the last week, but spent the holiday weekend working around the clock to reopen today. The produce shelves are a little sparse, but there's no shortage of community it's pride. Even it shows that um, Tahoe, it's a small town um, and we all unite at the end of the day, we all a family. But further south and east of the lake, the fire is still far from over. Some evacuees are still waiting to return home and others have lost theirs. Over in El Dorado County off of Highway 50, you can see cabin after cabin after cabin is leveled. All that remains is stone and rubble at this valley overlooking the Sierra Nevadas. We have trees over here that are completely barren, but the reality is different in South Lake Tahoe. We spoke with many residents there and coming up tonight at six, we'll tell you what they're doing as they're starting to piece their lives together and carry on after being evacuated for more than a week. Reporting live, I'm Alyssa Gord, NBC Bay Area News. Okay.